Hey guys, it's Mike coming back with yet another Johnny Bench PC update video. This one's going to be pretty awesome. Um, a little background. Um, last Monday I got home, was doing my regular search, as I'm sure most of you guys do for your own PC players and teams. And I hadn't bought a, if you know me in my videos, I, I mainly collect Topps Bench. And my favorite of the Topps is the Sterling. Uh, from back from 2006 to 2010 and my favorite of the sterling is 2006 so 2006 sterling is my primary thing I like to buy um, I've been buying it since probably I've been collecting hardcore since probably since like 2008 or 9 maybe sometime in that range so the 2006 and 8 had already been released by the time I really got into it so since then I've been looking for it and um, you might remember the one I got Ryan helped me get it the national back in Chicago and anyway that's that's my main PC I got two packages today and probably as Monday I was on eBay first card popped up was a 2006 six piece one of one bench card which got me excited because like I said they don't have um, that year they made two one of ones of the six piece I've got the other one so the price was a little high uh, I put my best bid in on it you know and you get that anxiety because you could go ahead and buy it now and overpay but you're hoping you get it at a fair price but then you have to sit and wait and see how long it takes the seller to get back and then somebody else could just go ahead and buy it now and you lose the card so you know how it is I'm sure most of you guys have been through that so I made my best bid offer and um, so I said okay well, I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down and see what else is down there so I get down a page a little bit and uh, I see five cherry wood bench cards in one listing and I'm like now wait a second what in the world is this gonna be I look at the description and it's the 2006 sterling and it's there were five base cards issued that year for bench and this guy had all five of the one of one cherry wood bench cards in one listing and it it just freaked me out and I was like this has to be another big bench guy so uh, I'll show you how high tech these old guys are like me if you look at this this is my how I keep track of cards so yes I do have a computer that I do do some things on with inventory but this is still how I keep track of cards so for 2006 if you'll notice on the base section uh, I'm missing one burgundy card to ten, and I'm missing all the one of ones. They had five cherry wood one of ones and five platinum one of ones. And this guy had all five of the cherry one of ones listed in one listing. So I made an offer, but I went ahead and emailed him and said, Look, I'm a bench guy. I'd like to buy. And well, the rest of the story was there's a few other bench sterling cards he had listed past that one so there was a couple of them I needed uh, I emailed him and said I need those two and I need definitely all those five cherry wood and uh, would you do a package deal on them and do you have any more and uh, he emailed me back and long story short is that he's one of the other major bench collectors on eBay he said he's been searching bench eBay sterling Sterling Bench on eBay for since 19, since 2006. So he's got a lot of it too, and I've got a lot of it myself. But the reason I've never seen any of those one of ones is because he had them all. In fact, well, except for one of the, he's got the he had the five cherry wood listed, and I asked him if he had any more of the five one of one platinum. He had four of those so and he sent me a list of other 2006 sterling he had and um, 
this is the one I did get the, the one I offered originally on the guy accepted it and I did win it that's in this package this guy and I worked out a deal for his 2006 that he had that I needed I got 14 one of ones and two number to tens and they're all in this box right here and I haven't opened this yet so I'm gonna do this hopefully live on camera here so it says pretty awesome um, he's got of the 2008 they had 11 base cards and he's got all 11 of the platinum one of ones and he's got like five of the cherrywood one of ones so I'm gonna make a one list and uh, I'm gonna try to buy these cards off of him over the next month or two three as long as I don't go bankrupt um, <laughs> it's a uh, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, so I'm trying to get the wife to support me on this, but I really need to... If I'm going to complete these sets, this is the time to do it instead of letting him piecemeal everything and then trying to get it back later. So hopefully I can work out a deal for the rest of them. We'll see. But, I mean, as far as me and my bench collecting, yeah, the Sterling is my main focus, and this is going to get me near to the top of having... A, something that one of the cards of almost everything so anyway uh we're gonna open it up now so i hope i haven't taken too much time i can tell from the way this thing works first we'll open the one is the single card uh, it was interesting talking to the guy I, I emailed him he emailed me back we got i got his phone number and i called him and uh, he's been collecting Sterling since 2006. He does collect Tier 1, so I'm going to check and see what he's got. He hates to get rid of him, of course, but he's got three daughters and, you know, it's probably marriages and stuff coming up. And he wants to be sure to be able to take care of them. So, and, you know, one day I'll probably have to sell them too. But in the meantime, um, you know, it's exciting to... Uh, to go ahead and get an opportunity to get these it's just uh once it's a one-time shop and uh, we'll just have to see how it goes here but he's a real nice guy and uh, he hates to give them up and uh hopefully i can work out a deal and get everything that i need off of him. he's got a lot of other things i wouldn't mind having but there's only so much to go around as far as money goes so this is the one from the one guy. Well packaged. And sweet. It is beauty. That's a two thousand six sterling. Six piece. Uh, I believe it has pick pieces of hats, a little bit of everything, jersey, hat, uniform, um, uh, bat, yeah, plus the signature, one of one, I've got the other one of one, this is the sterling silver version and then there's a prime version too, which I got that one, I'll have to update my PC video and put these in it. But that's just the beauty. I'd be super happy if I just got this. Because um, that's a gorgeous card and I hadn't bought anything like I said in a while. So let's get this main box open. And took a look at uh, Like I said, I got nine one of ones of base and then there's another five one of ones and two number to tens. One of which I'd never seen before. And, um, very nice note from him. Seems like a great guy. I hate to see another bench guy get out of it. But, um, you know, he has to do what he's got to do. And, I'm, wow. You know, they're all in little packages here let's take a look 
<laughs> this is awesome. I mean, I mean, I know it's only cards, but you know, I've been collecting now for a long time and seriously collecting for a few years, and this is just plain awesome here. Got some base cards of other Topps products on top and bottom just to protect them. And put these right here. Sorry guys, I wanted to you to watch this live, so I hate to have you sit and watch me unwrap this, but I just wanted to share this with you guys because this is just unbelievable. Alrighty. First thing we will look at. These are two of the Sweet. Oh, great. Uh, I don't know if you've seen my video on this before. From He won 10 straight gold gloves from uh, 68 to 77. And all there's a card for each year that's autographed. Ten, number to 10 and number to 1. And then there's an unautographed version from the same 10 years. And for some reason, according to Beckett, on um, four of the cards, 70, 72, 74, and 77, they just made a one of one. They didn't make the number to 10 version. He actually has two of those, if, if Beckett is correct. Now, I've never seen one number to 10, which I think I would have if they did make it. So there's the 72, one of one. And here is the 77, one of one. And if that's the case, I've got eight of the 10 now, and I need two more one of ones on that. I needed this one. This is another one of one. This is the one for 45 home runs. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Just gorgeous cards. If, I don't, if you've seen the Top Sterling, I mean, I know they have a lot of high-end stuff out today, but back in 2006, I think from what I was talking to him about, this was really the first real high-end card set. Oh. oh, that is beautiful. It is a Jumbo Prime Jersey. Number one of one. Beautiful. Two color. That is sweet. Beautiful. And this is the one burgundy that I was missing, number to ten. And just by chance, it's number five of ten, the infamous jersey number. So I've got all the burgundy now. Wow, that is just awesome. Like I said, I've never seen one of these before. He had the whole set. He said he bought them all off of eBay from like 2006 to 2009. And you know, the odds of unopened boxes still containing one are pretty high I would think I guess the 2006 I never see boxes anymore maybe they sold them all or at least a good chunk of them 
That's one of the five. Cherry wood, one of one. This is card 108. That was card 107. Wow, that's just unbelievable. I mean, it's just that even that's just unbelievable. These are beautiful cards. I love these. Those are just gorgeous. <laughs> this is so weird when you're watching. You know, I've been watching eBay for, like I said, years now. And when you see something of your favorite player pop up that you've never seen before, and he's got all five of them at one. It's just unbelievable. It's card 109. Card 110. And finally, card 111. The 76 World Series. It's Thurman Munson bearing down on him. This is unbelievable. Now, these are the four platinum. I've, I've never seen these because he didn't have these listed yet. So, this will be the first time I've ever seen one. Oh. <laughs> these are gorgeous wow that's just amazing one of one platinum version <sighs> second one of one platinum version Just unbelievably beautiful cards. Number three. And finally, there's the fourth one. He doesn't have the fifth one, so that's the one base I need now is the Platinum 1 of 1. These are just... I mean, for years I thought that these just didn't exist. Or at least I had no idea what... You know, the odds of not seeing one pop up but occasionally are just unbelievable. And that's because this guy's got them all. That's just unbelievable. And I still got it. Got two more left. Oh, that's beautiful. This is a 1975 World Series card. I've never seen this one. This is number to 10, and I've never seen this one. This is the autograph version. Just beautiful. And wow. Nineteen seventy six World Series card. This is the one of one version. That is unbelievable. I can only imagine how hard was it, it was for him to part with these. It's just a uh, labor of love. All you super collectors out there know and It's just, wow. Can't believe it. Just gorgeous cards. And then to have this one in the same day on another listing. Just awesome. 
Well, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. It's one of the probably the best mail day I've ever had as far as bench cards go. That's just awesome. Um, thanks for sharing, and um, if you have anything, anybody sees anything like that, just let me know. But uh, that just blows me away, I tell you. But uh, thanks a lot. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.